Sandra Koss is a Mexican immigrant born and raised in Jalisco, is one of seven siblings, an advocate for individuals with developmental disabilities, a wife, a mother of three, a Bay Area resident, and a cancer survivor. She was diagnosed with grade two invasive ductal carcinoma in December of 2020. Sandra underwent a bilateral mastectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation in 2021. In recent years, Sandra has taught workshops and works diligently to educate and inform the Spanish-speaking community about the services and resources available to people with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Sandra's experience and passion for serving others have led her to become an advocate for the Latino community. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sandra Koss. I have learned a lot from cancer, but I will not let cancer define me. My name is Sandra Koss. I'm a cancer survivor. I live in the Bay Area with my three children and my husband. And uh, my sister-in-law was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2018. She underwent a uh, treatment. So this was very hard for the family and very scary. When I have my uh, physical exam the next year, I was 41 years old and I asked my doctor for a mammogram. And at that point, he said that uh, I was in low risk because my age, uh, my good habits, including exercising and diet, and uh, because there were no history in my family of cancer. However, I was very proactive and asked him to be referred for a mammogram. And I have the first mammogram in February, 2019. Uh, at that time, the results, uh, they say that there were only benign calcifications but they want to monitor the calcifications to make sure everything is okay. So uh, in two years, I uh, have three more mammograms with the same results. And at that point, I want to be honest, I was thinking, oh, they just want to build to the insurance. However, I continue to follow up the recommendations. And in uh, December 2020, after the last mammogram, they let me go home and they say, oh, everything is the same. After two hours, I arrived home. They called me to apologize and ask me if I was still at the clinic. And they said that uh, they double check uh, the results and they saw some uh, suspicious tissue and they want to do a biopsy. I have the biopsy in the next following um, weeks and uh, on December 19, I was diagnosed with uh, a stage two uh, breast cancer in the left side with uh, invasive in tissue carcinoma. Uh, I was repaired with an oncologist and with uh, a plastic surgeon and general surgeon to uh, further treatment. And when I have this appointment with the oncologist, uh, I was in shock because the diagnosis, the multiple calls and all the information that was overwhelming. And uh, I didn't have a good connection. I didn't feel a good sense of connection with my oncologist. Uh, she mentioned something like, oh, in women, in young women like you, we want to be very aggressive with the treatment. And I was like, in women like me, is this is for me, this is everything, it's my case. It's like, I, I was hoping to hear something like, Sandra, in your, in your case, this is the treatment that I recommend for you. So, um, at the same time, when I ask about the medications for the chemotherapy, she say, oh, uh, you won't understand anyway, you can read the notes. 
my husband and I were in shock because it's like, at least give me the information and I can do my research on the internet or whatever. But uh, at that time where, where when I uh, find out about Bre um, Bay Area Cancer Connections and I went to the office, they provide me with different different printing materials and two weeks and a care kit. And also I have this connection with Dr. Erica Bell. Uh, she's uh, in the, the Education and Information Center and in Bay Area Cancer Connection. And she provided me a lot of support, understanding not only the diagnosis, but also the uh, potential treatments. So I asked for a second opinion and I was very proactive. And this is something I, I want you to, to do in, in your case to, um, you are your best advocate. So uh, when, we hear about the diagnosis, it's like we think about death and we are in, in the uh, mood of, yeah, I, I will do everything they, they say. I just want to survive. But uh, having these conversations with different professionals, I find out that I can uh, make informed decisions about the treatments. So I was referred to, um, to Stanford and uh, Dr. Blaney, that was my oncologist. He uh, had a very good connection with me. The first thing he said when I uh, have the first uh, appointment, he said, oh, Sandra, I was reading your file yesterday and today. And, um, and this is the treatment that I recommend for you. So I, I was feeling very hopeful and I was praying for that. To, to have this connection. So I underwent uh, eight um, sessions of chemotherapy and 25 sessions of radiation. That was very hard. It fue muy difícil para mí. Uh, um, I tried everything, aromatherapy, yoga, meditation. I even complete a 2000 pieces puzzle because I want to keep my mind busy and time to go faster. And uh, in 2022, I underwent two surgeries for reconstruction. And I, I just want to uh, give my, or share my story for other women, uh, especially the Spanish speaking, the Latino, the Latinas to, uh, get information and to be advocates for themselves. Uh, I am blessed that uh, my cancer was uh, detected early. So I, I'm here, I'm a survivor and I'm sharing my story to uh, create uh, awareness of this uh, cancer and to let you know that don't let cancer define you with much love y un abrazo. Thank you for listening to me. Given the personal nature of the questions one might have about Sandra's story, if you would like to connect with Sandra directly, we ask that you email our helpline at info at bayareacancer.org and we will share your information with Sandra so she can reach out to you directly. Thank you. Thank you.